All right, I want to talk to you about hammer-ons and pull-offs. Very useful, very cool technique. And I think uh, there's many ways to build it, but I want to show you a very simple way, which is just to develop the basic hammer-on and pull-off technique with all of your fingers. The simplest one would be between uh, your first finger and, for example, your second finger. Most people can do that because those fingers are strong. But then as you start to go out and maybe use your third finger, it gets a little bit weaker, but you've got to get it. You got to have to have it in time where you can control the, the sound of the note so it's nice. And the, keep the tempo even. Uh, and then of course the pinky, the weakest finger, but you can get it. The next thing is to do those pull-offs, but this time using your second finger as sort of the anchor note. So uh, let's do A with the second finger, and we'll do uh, the pinky. And now let's try the two weakest fingers, the third and the fourth. We'll go between the B and the C. And if you can get a good tone out of those, you're really in good shape. So now that you've got those done, uh, let's work on some slightly more complicated patterns that are going to be a little more musical and interesting sounding. Uh, this one sounds like this. It's got six notes. They sound like uh, they're, they're C-A-B, C-B-A. Obviously very good for strengthening those last two fingers. Let's uh, add in four notes that introduce this. I want to start on the B string and play three notes. That's E, F sharp, and G. And I'm going to add an A note on the high E string and then do the lick that we just learned. So all together, that's the lick. To make a little more out of it, I want to descend all the way down, back to the bottom, and without repeating that E note, start cycling the lick. So it'll sound like this very slowly. And then that E is where you start over again without repeating it. So let's do it a little quicker. I'm pausing in between so you can get the sound of that pattern in your ears and in your head. But then, like I keep saying, I don't want to repeat the E, and this time I'm going to cycle it without stopping. I'm going to add another sequence to this that I think is very important. This is five notes that descend. It's played with an upstroke, a down, two pull-offs, and another picked note on the bottom. So it would be up, down, pull-off, pull-off, and down. Up, down, down, like that with some pull-offs in the middle. Again, I'm putting a space so you can get it in your head. But in reality, I don't stop and I just cycle it over and over. So let's combine those two licks together. Let's see if we can do that. So 
that's a good way you can get a basic scale to have sort of a left hand freak out. You know? And just practice it a lot. Make sure you have your basic ones down. That'll build up strength and then practice the other ones slow. Very even, with good tone. Use your ears to make sure the tone is the way you like it. And your fingers will follow.